and certainly most impressively against Lucas Matisse, whom he forced to quit. Can he do the same with someone as skilled as Bud Crawford? Well, he feels in there. He, he's got the feel of it. It's not a thing where they're going to give him instructions on that in the corner. He knows what's working and what feels good and what feels right in there. Crawford see that uh, right foot to the outside. That means he can get his leverage with his left hand down the middle. The postal touches him to the body with the jab. Gets his combination. Right now, not a lot of punches being landed. His postal trying to get in position and throw a punch. And Crawford loaded up that left hook and as he was spinning it. Yeah, here he is with that, you know, uh, shorter reach. And he's doing a good job getting to the body of Postal. It's frustrating him a little bit because Postal, like you said, can't get inside. He's not a dirty fighter at all by any way, shape, or manner. And Postal turned his back on him, and Crawford was in the position of throwing the punch. A little exchange. Crawford six and one out. Walked into a right hand. Yeah, Postal starting to get in yeah. punching range here. Kind of paused that jab man out there, but no, nope, I haven't really seen many body shots yet from Crawford, and I like to see him try to get inside more. Oh, there's a good, good left. Pretty good counter punch there too that Crawford got hit by. Yep. That right hand counter by Post. Postal there through the left jab and then that right uppercut. Look at Postal's face. Look at oh. Well, there's going to be more flurries like this throughout the course of this fight. Neither one of these guys are going easy. Oh. Everything that Crawford does, the crowd kind of goes. <laughs> Looked like it was him that got got by Crawford right there. The Crawford is fighting a very smart fight. And you can hear them cheering. That's the long loop again. Every time Crawford does something well, the crowd either comes to its feet or gets real excited. I'm at the Hall of Fame uh, ceremonies a couple of weeks ago, and he just enjoys himself. That's going to be scored as a knockdown because his uh, knee touched. Really I'm at the Hall of Fame uh, ceremonies a couple of weeks ago, and he just enjoys himself. That's going to be scored as a knockdown because his uh, knee touched. And is really with that. Right, this came right at the bell. He comes out, a little right to the top of the head. He just cuffed him with it. Knee barely touches, but there was. You know, gets more and more confident in his abilities. Uh, that, that side of him will come out. Wait, well, people say, you know what? What you know that he doesn't talk a lot of trash. Oh, oh, oh what a what a great counter punch. That, he touches the canvas down. again. Yep. That's another knockdown. And Tony right oh. on it. His gloves wow. definitely hit the canvas. And the canvas is what happened. Now the second knockdown, there was a real punch was here. A See that left? See that left? Now that gets him going. He goes across the just the bare touch of a glove. The first knockdown was just a little cuffing shot, but the second one, that, that's a real, there's going to be a real punch. You saw it, that left hand. And the canvas is what happened. Now the second knockdown, there was a real punch a here. Counter. See that left? See that left? Now that gets him going. He goes across the, just the bare touch of a glove. It's a 10-7 round. It's a 50-43 in my score sheet with five in the books. This is round six. Hodge uh, shot by Postal, one of his better punches in the fight. Postal has, just has not hit him enough to slow him down at all. This is one of those things again. He fainted in. Uh, slick movement there. Pull that left shoulder back and cracked him with the right hand. And those are the slick things he does. And when and when it's time to exchange, it seems like it's always Crawford getting off first. And as they say that, of course, Postal does it first. Brian, Bo, Mac, McIntyre has put together. I think they're they're doing a great job. They're doing what they need to do to win these rounds. I mean, much has been said about, you know, Freddie Roach in the other corner, but you got to give Team Crawford some credit in their preparation. They're frustrating Postal. He'll take a couple of bounces right, and then boom, right back the other way. Or he'll step with his left foot behind oh. him. Then he'll plant like he just did then. Let off the punches. There's no way you can give the ice spin that round. Oh, see? Look at this, Rich. Boom. <laughs> That's just great work. I mean, what, what can you say? That's just brilliant fighting. Oh. He was leaning back and then. Look at this, Rich. Boom. <laughs> oh, that? oh. You get clipped again. <laughs> it was almost one of those flash knockdowns. His glove barely stayed off the canvas. You better start before the bell rings if you fight Terrence Crawford. Oh, oh. 
He got clipped again. It was almost one of the flash knockdowns. His glove barely stayed off the canvas. You better start before the bell rings if you fight Terrence Crawford. Figure out where he can attack. That hand goes up in the air. He'll come downstairs with the body just like that. Yep. Oh, oh. cracked him with a hard left hand. Off balance again. <laughs> but then later on in the round, as you can see, that is actually behind the head. We cur he cuffed him behind the head. He needs a little more of that. Well, that's what Freddie wants him to try to land, but again, easier said than done. There were a little slip by that left eye. Can't tell if Porcel's left eye might have, and I guess not, been sensational in this fight. watching eight rounds and going to the ninth now. This is the one versus two. It seems like Terrence Crawford is just widening the gap about how close Postal is in that number two spot. And that time the legs did start to go up Postal. He, that plan B is, has never come out. Well, he had the plan B where he won a lot more right hands. He tried to throw him and he gets counter punched by Crawford. Look at that. There's a straight left to right down the middle on the right-handed fighter. The right hook, the straight left jab again. All these are, you know, these are fairly heavy punches. Look at this. Look at that. There's a straight left to right down the middle on the right-handed fighter. The right hook, the straight left jab again. All these are, you know, these are fairly heavy punches. He didn't just move around to get away, so therefore I don't see him as running. Question is, is he doing enough that would stamp him as... Oh. Stand, go ahead, Rich, with that thought. With, as somebody that, to fight Manny Pacquiao in, uh, in November. Being able to back off, lure a guy forward toward him, and then quickly catch him coming in. Our principals, two champions. One is going to lose his title tonight. And right now, it looks like Terrence Crawford is going to pick that up. Right now, in the 11th round. It's been all Crawford in my score sheet. Nobody has really been seriously shaken in the fight. I mean, don't forget his right hand is his jabbing hand, but I mean, this guy, for all practical purposes, can fight as a uh, right-handed fighter too, so he's got plenty of power in his right hand. He hasn't had uh, many uncomfortable moments in this one. He get clipped by a decent right hand. Yeah. And you gotta be careful when he turns his back time, because time, time. now time has been called out. He's gonna take a point away for hitting in the back of the head, and he should. So this is going to turn out to be another 10-8 round. Uh, Pistol needs a knockout. Oh, they came he's right going out. for it. Yeah, he landed left and a right. And he's furious about the point going away, and so is Freddie in the corner. I understand, but you got to follow the rules all the way. Before this, you leave yourself one round to get it done. But see, he's, he's yeah. kind of... Waltz is into his guy, and here he is. Postal's going for not, and Crawford knows how to get out of there. And, and Chavez almost Jr. almost pulled it off against Sergio Martinez when he lost every round practically. And Chavez Sr. He had a very controversial win when Richard Steele stopped the fight. Although to this day, if you see Meldrick Taylor, oh. we know that was right. Crawford doesn't have to do the oh, he oh right, the right, button right with a hard shot. On the inside with that right hand. Now Crawford wants to make a point right now. This is the type of fight we thought we'd see all along. It was a good shot. <laughs> really was more of a jab. It, it was, was a jab, hard. but did you see his legs buckle? Wow, look at this stuff. This has been a brilliant fight for Crawford, no matter what anybody says. This is a brilliant fight. He nails him, almost dropped him. And that's it, it's all over. Look at the smile on his face. You said almost every round, Christina, I gotta win in every round.